Okay, Tobo, your item has been appraised. Unfortunately, we are we are non we are non 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 Hi guys, welcome back to the hack. I hope you're all doing well. Now, currently, we are on a challenge turning a thousand pounds to a hundred thousand pounds. <laughs> Here's how it's going. So we started off with a thousand pounds. We took ten pound out of that and bought scratch cards. We scratched them all and made six pound back. Now we gave one away and took the remaining five pound and played the lottery, which we didn't win. But it's all right. We move. Where? Coins and antiques. So we took fifty pound out of our budget, changed them into coins in search for the rare ones, which we found a good few. Now we looked on eBay and the listing prices looked promising, so we listed them for the same, 100 to 200 pounds. We headed to an antique shop in search for hidden gems. We looked around and found a few things and eventually went for a flask, which looked handcrafted. Now we looked online and found an appraisal company and sent it off to them. And there, you were all caught up. <laughs> Tobo, your item has been appraised. Unfortunately, we are unable to make your cash offer in this instance, as the item you have sent is not generating a suitable value for us to be able to make you an offer. Your parcel is being repackaged and returned. Vintage cash cow. We were unable to sell it. For me to send it to, to an appraisal company and they send it back to me. <laughs> We've got all these assets, coins and just random items just laid around waiting to be sold we don't know where to sell them to but we'll stay hopeful right now for our coins none have sold yet and yes i saw your comments on the previous videos thank you very much you guys have made me aware of the sold listings button and looking through the sold listings button i'm seeing those coins being sold for one pound two pound 50p one pound 20 which is not very exciting at all <laughs> so i'm going to reduce all the prices and then leave them on there until they sell if i can sell them more than what i got them for which is 50p then i've made a profit already so we're going to focus on that and on to the next one. Now, if you guys are wondering why I haven't posted the past few weeks, I got from your comments that you guys don't want trial and error. You want a trialed and tested method that works, which is why I've held back the last few videos I filmed because this series is as much to me um, a new, like new territory. I don't know how to make a hundred thousand pounds. <gasps> I genuinely don't know how to make a hundred thousand pounds. But what I do know is I will make a hundred thousand pounds. I don't know how, but I know I will. Now you guys can come along in this process with me of finding out different methods and trying them out, seeing if they work. If they don't work, we we'll learn about that in the next episode. So say the coins. We try rare coins and then the next episode we realize, oh, those coins didn't sell or why didn't they sell or because of this, this, this. So it's almost like progressive. We'll eventually find out. We're going to try different methods. Some are not going to work. Some are going to work. We're going to lose some money. We're going to make some money and we're going to learn the best ways that work, put them all together and eventually make that hundred thousand pounds. All right, guys, here's a hack for you curve as in curve the heavy wallets and have all your cards in one place you're thinking what have all my cards in one place yes that's the beauty of it so this is a platform that connects all your money into one so you don't have to walk around with the heavy wallets you just need this or your mobile phone so you can go totally card free have all your cards on here and track your spending tfl 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 <laughs> now here's the best bit you get cash back every time you spend at your favorite retailers plus if you click the link in the description you get five pound to spend on the card so you've earned five pound from Tobo the hack to spend on your curve card um you're very welcome <laughs> click the link in the description to get started
Okay, now what else have I tried? Storage auctions. Now I know we've all seen the TV shows where they buy abandoned storage auctions, they go through it, find all these hidden gems and then they sell it for ridiculous amounts. Well, I thought I'd give that a go. All right, so I'm currently bidding on a storage unit full of artwork. Now, I do love art, but I don't know a lot about art. <laughs> And right now I'm stuck in a bidding war and we have two minutes to go <laughs> and yeah people are on it and the price is going high so fast. I'm gonna set my limit at 350. I can't go more than that. If it goes over 350 I'm, I'm not involved. So I'll let it get down to one minute then I'll put I'll put 310 and tease them out. <laughs> it, it just looks like a ton of art. So I'm guessing something in there, or a few things in there, should be worth a pretty penny. Toba of London, 500 pound. 510, yeah, these lot, they're not messing about. They want this. It means there must be something to it, 500 pound. These are like legit people. So if they're bidding on this, it means it's got potential. It's, it's just ram packed full of artwork. 650. Imagine selling one of those for like a few grand. Okay, top of courage going in at 660. <laughs> the more people bid, the more it makes me feel like there's something to it. It says the paintings are from a formerly renowned artist. Imagine there's like just thousands in there. Now unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, we missed out on that one, but we'll keep our eyes peeled for future auctions. And after that, I delved into the world of flipping shoes. Sneakers, trainers, whatever you want to call them. Shoes. Now the premise here is to buy low, sell high. Shoes in high demand or limited edition or rare or sought after. Now the best way to do this is to go on websites like eBay, Facebook, StockX, GOAT, wherever you can get them for a cheaper price. Either because the owner is just trying to get rid of them and make a quick buck or they don't know the value of the shoe they have. Another way to get them for cheap is by entering raffles. So we're going to go on drop dates, we're going to look for some trainers. We're going to enter the raffles and we're going to cross our fingers and wait. <laughs> and now the brands you want to go for are like the Jordans, the Yeezys, the Nikes, the ones in high demand and hold value. Now if you can enter the raffle of one of these and get it for a retail price, you can definitely sell it for more and make a decent amount. All right, so I've entered a few raffles. The Adidas Yeezy Boost 700, Nike Air Max Tailwind 5, with Skepta, Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. Now of all the raffles we entered, I managed to get one. The New Balance MS237 Blue Racer. Now after shipping, that cost 126 pounds. Now you take that out of our total of 956 pound and we end up with 830 pound. And guess what? It's just arrived. New Balance. Now I don't know a lot about New Balance. I don't know if they hold much value, but I was just entering all the raffles I could and hey, we got one. So we're off to a start. Voila. Now the funny thing about shoe reselling and the value they hold has to do with a lot of factors. Um, it could be rarity or hype. So hype around the trainers. So say we take this now and we create crazy hype around it on social media or like a stunt to do this, the price of this goes up. I think that's how it works. 
guys don't quote me don't be in the comments telling me this that that it's, it's fine sorry i'm sorry all right <laughs> but i think i think this is how it works i'm gonna come up with a hashtag or something for us to like just hammer it everywhere <laughs> and then and then i can possibly sell this for more or 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 if we plan this well i can get a few of these then we can do the social media promo and stunts and whatever and then i've got tons of them to sell for way more so in the description of this video i'm gonna stick it i'm gonna stick it in there new balance blue racer in the um, community post and in the instagram post in the twitter post and the facebook post hashtag new balance blue racer or hashtag the hack new balance blue racer no we'll just do new balance blue racer so if you guys want to get in on this you guys stick it out there as well on social media everywhere um tag me on instagram and i'll i'll repost you tag me on twitter and i'll repost you hashtag new balance blue racer and then we're going to keep an eye on the price on stock x and then see if that increases with the little noise we're making and then if it does then we're just gonna maybe buy loads of this and then proper make a lot of noise like bang like make some promo and like make a lot of noise let the price increase and then we can we can sell it for more let's let's test that out this week over the next week and see how it goes and then in the next video I'll, I'll tell you guys how the price goes if it goes up a little bit and then we'll plan our next strategy <laughs> in the meantime i'm gonna go through a few comments that you guys left on the community tab when i asked you guys to brainstorm together how we can make this hundred thousand pounds or how we can turn 500 pounds into a thousand pounds flip tvs flip sofas jordan nike shoes buy designer clothes flip them buy ps5 add games um add controllers flip them okay fair enough you can buy two or three bicycles and you can rent them out this renting buying something and then offering it as a service a lot of you guys are suggesting that so i need to look more into that buying something and offering it as a service i feel like i'm gonna have to break down this challenge because the thought of a hundred thousand pounds you you just a bit lost like where do you even start but once i break it down like let me flip 500 to a thousand and then let me flip that thousand to two thousand and then it's like more approachable it's manageable you're not so uh you're like oh okay 500 yeah that's easy you can flip that to a thousand okay what can i buy let me buy a car and like fix it up and do this or let me buy that it's e you can buy something for 500 pound easily right so i'm just gonna break it down per video and just tackle it per video but this 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 series we're gonna take a stapler and we're gonna staple it on the channel this is a staple series and then this is the learning process for both of us as well so you guys will learn as we go what works and what doesn't work what to invest in what not to invest in so i'm really excited matter of fact when we get to the hundred thousand i might not stop there i might take the hundred thousand and flip it to a million so this series is here to stay we're all going to learn how to make money through different ways i'm your guinea pig I'm going to try everything. You guys just send it my way. Suggest so order and over the next few months, I'll try different ways, different methods, different of how to flip money and make more of it. Hey, the hack, how to flip money and make more of it. I like the sound of that. <laughs> in the meantime, we will have regular content on the channel. And in fact, I'm bringing on presenters. So different videos might be, hi guys, um, today we're gonna be um, testing this hack to see if this, that, that. And then the next day is like, oh, hi guys, um, today on the hack, we're gonna be doing this and we're gonna be doing that. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how it all goes. Very exciting stuff happening. All right, that's it for today. Like this video, give a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button, share with all your friends and family. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, and don't forget to um, spam New Balance Blu Racer on all social media sites and tag me on Instagram and, and Twitter. I'm going to retweet and repost you. I want to make a little bit of noise. I want to see if the price goes up. Yeah, all right. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.